Okay, hello fellow YouTubers. My name's Neil and welcome to the first of a series of videos. Behind me are some old bikes. These unwanted bikes will be cut up so I can use certain parts of them to make one of these. A recumbent trike. I bought these plans from a website called Atomic Zombie. With the help of these plans I hope to be able to build my first recumbent trike. Okay, so the first step will be to cut the parts off the donor bikes that I will need. I will be using the rear section of this mountain bike, including the suspension, to form the basis of my trike. Now as you can see I've cut the front half of the bike off, so I'm now only left with just the rear section, the swing arm and the shock absorber. The pedals and the chain, all those will go when I've got five more minutes to get them off. I'm having a bit of difficulty getting the actual cranks off. So once all those are done, then I can start organising the steel tubing which will be welded to the front here okay so I've got a box section steel tubing which I'll be welding to that to extend it and then from there I'll start working out the position of the front wheels I'm not sure how far forward they have to be just yet I have to go and check the drawings or the plans and photographs and things like this to see what they will look like and where they should be okay so that's where we're up to at the moment this is the swing arm bush welded to the box steel ready to fit okay so this is the seat post. I think it's roughly in the right spot. What I'm going to do now is just tack weld it on. I'm going to tack weld on the suspension bracket as well. So we're getting everything roughly set up where it should be and how I want it. The next will be to cut a couple of pieces of steel for the front wheels to go on. Okay, I'm going to roughly assemble everything, tack weld everything, and then if it's not right, I can just cut the weld, the tack, take it off, and rearrange it. But for the moment I'm just going to arrange everything, tack weld it on until I'm happy with it. Then I'll go around and weld everything up 100%. So I'm going to start welding in a couple of seconds. Okay. Fine. Here I'm cutting the two pieces of metal which are going to form the front end of the trike. In this shot I'm marking out the two pieces of steel tubing that will be cut to 22 and a half degrees and when they are welded together they will form a 45 degree v-shape that will be the front end of my trike. Here I am just about to cut the bottom half of the forks off. We only need the top half with the thread and that's what we'll be using and we'll need two of these. Here I am cutting a section from the donor frame that the forks pass through. I will need two of these. Okay, second one. Bearings filled. This is a photo of the top half of the forks that I cut off. 
In this shot you can see that I've welded a piece of plate steel to the tubing to bolt the wheels onto. In the next couple of photos you can see that I've assembled the front end and have bolted the front wheels onto them. Today I'm working on the uh, trike. I'm going to try and get the brakes, at least the rear brake working today, and possibly the gear change if we get time. And then we may well be able to see if I can get the uh, chains organised. If we've got the chains organised, then we may be able to go for a bit of a test ride. So that's what we're up to at the moment. I'm just going to cut a little bit off the end of the brake cable because I can't quite get the uh, inner down the outer sleeve. So I'm just going to have to cut a little bit off with my imitation Dremel. Hopefully that will clean the ends up so I can get the uh, cable through. Well, I certainly cleaned up all the uh, metal, but I didn't take into consideration with the extra heat. It just melted the inner very, very nicely. So I could find a, a better way of doing it than that. So yeah, we'll think about that one and get a bit further. Okay. Maybe we'll use okay, a bit of Okay, so what I've got here are two different types of wheels. So these are the two types I'm actually looking at. I'm either looking at a metal pulley, uh, which has got a nice ball bearing in it, goes very well, no friction or an inline roller skate wheel. So I'm not sure which one's going to work properly. Um, I'm going to give this one a go first, but my concern is it's going to make a lot of noise and it's going to wear the tops of the chain down, but there's only one way of really finding out and this is how we do it, unfortunately. So, I finally got the chain organised on the bike roughly. I've cable tied the two ends together just so I can see what it looks like and how it works. Right, as you can see there's the front sort of guide if you like. It's a pulley, it's on a bearing. So all I really need to do now is to weld that up, get that into the right spot hopefully, I might even take it a little bit further back, weld that up and then I can start on the gear changer cabling. Okay, so what I'm going to do at the moment is I'm just going to weld up uh, this onto the frame because I'm having an issue with the chain rubbing on the side of the swing arm of the bike. This will hopefully then lift it up just enough to give it uh, the height and guide it to where it's supposed to be. So I'm just going to give it a bit of a spot weld, hopefully a tap weld, and hopefully everything works okay. Alright, here we go. Yeah, hang on. Okay, we've welded it in place. Okay, so I've uh, adjusted it with a bit of a tap with the hammer because it's still quite warm the metal. I'm going to weld it from the other side just to uh, strengthen it up a little bit and that should be our guide for the chain. What's the easiest way to do this? Don't know what to find out, isn't it?
ourselves. So the first problem we have to overcome now is the gear changer cable. The gear changer cable is either routed incorrectly or it's just too long. So I might have to look at either shortening it or rerouting it to slightly because at the moment it's interfering. I'm rubbing my leg on it all the time, which I really don't want to have to be doing. So we might try at least putting it down there out of the way and see what happens, see if it affects the gear changing at all. So far the um, brake cable hasn't been a problem. I've had a problem with the uh, little pulley guide, whatever you want to call it, this little wheel here which is all metal and it does make a hell of a noise when you're actually riding the bike, more so than just about anything else. So at this rate I've made up another wheel which I'm going to try putting on very shortly. So I'm just going to grind this wheel, wheel off and I'm going to go back to the inline roll skate wheel and try using that instead I'm hoping that'll be a lot quieter. So that's, that's the old wheel compared to the new wheel. Now the old wheel, you can see there's quite a few marks on it, look very, very closely, where it was grinding on the um, tops of the chains themselves, so hopefully this will be a little bit quieter now. Hi fellow YouTubers, uh, today I'm going to do a little bit of a modification to the back end of my recumbents. Um, I'm thinking that over time I will try to ride it more and more to the shops to pick up some of the smaller groceries and bits and pieces and any time I want to do any shopping so I thought it might be a good idea to actually modify it so that I can put some sort of a carry rack or bike rack on the uh, side rack whatever you want to call it on the back of the bike so I'm going to clean up the steel and I have a piece of steel here that I'm going to weld onto the back there to give me a point that I can actually put something on the back like some sort of rack as I say so I'm going to get start into it and clean it all up and then start welding it all up so here we go Okay, so I'm going to do a quick alignment check to make sure that everything lines up as reasonably square and true before I finish off the welding. So I've just put a couple of tack welds onto it. I can see just by looking that it's not lining up quite or, uh, correctly, so I might have to um, grind the weld off and realign it. So I might have to put some um, vice grips on it to keep it lined up and square and true, and then I'll go back to welding it. So time to take it off and redo it again.
Okay, clean that up. And we're not doing too bad now. That's not bad, that's not bad. Okay. Well, no signs of it cracking or breaking under the strain of my weight, so that's a good start. Which means now I can put my rack or my carry bags off my 10 speed mountain bike onto this and use it for a bit of shopping. So that's one other issue resolved. Okay. I thought you might like that little blooper of the mic falling off on one of those shots. Well, that's all, folks. Thank you very much for watching.